Coach, big win in game one. You get the chance to close it out here. What What did you like the most about your team's 90-minute performance in Columbus? Yeah, our defense behavior was very well, I would say. And uh, so in, uh, in our switch, in our pressing moments, and also then our... In our block moments, so but now it's the main part. It's not to talk about too much about the, the first game. So it's important now to have a clear focus um, for for the next game on Sunday in uh, in two days, and this is uh, important. And I'm sure we can we will have another game, and uh, we need another solutions. I would say than uh, the last game, but the same intensity. That's clear against a good team, and we will see now what happened uh, on Sunday. Columbus obviously had more of the ball in, in, in the first game, but you yeah. guys seem to play really well off the ball, and a lot of the intensity, I think, sometimes <clears> people <throat> believe like you have to have the ball to have that intensity. What is it about your team's action off the ball that was so important to you um, and how they play? Yeah, I would say when we when we are starting now, and uh, especially in playoffs, to start now to be better in our ball position than Columbus could be difficult for us, to be honest, because uh, they are now in such a long time together, and they build it up also with a lot of quality, but um, with our style of play, it's also good in our style of play to be very dominant in our in our defense against the ball. But now, so it's important also to show this in the next game. So it was good in the past, in the last game, but uh, this is then also a part of our job um, of uh, to, to start now the the next situation, to start now the next uh, moments, the next duel to be to be strong. And what I said. At the beginning, it's clear. Um, it's another game now. The same uh, both teams, the same both uh, ideas of, uh, of 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 the teams, but could be also then another solutions a little bit to adapt to adjust them. Some some situations, some ball positions, moments from uh, from Columbus, which is uh, important for us uh, to to react against them. Is it easier to plan these games than a, a, a normal kind of home and away game? Because there's no aggregate score, nothing of that nature. Is it is it easier to take due to the the format of, of the best of three to take it one game at a time than you would in a, in any other kind of knockout competition? Yeah, we know we had also then uh, the situation <laughs> that was a little bit uh, strange because uh, the last game in our in our regular season was against them. Now then we were on the road. Now it's the next game uh, in in our stadium, second game playoff. So this is the uh, these are the rules. Um, one zero for us, oh, but now it's zero zero when it starts on Sunday, and then we can show also that we can repeat uh, our performance with uh, maybe another solutions, but to repeat it, to repeat it with the intensity, to repeat it with the energy, to be compact and to, to use our moments as well. And I think this is necessary also to improve that, to to use our moments with the ball. And when we are talking only in defense, defense, defense. Um, I think this is, could be that also a big mistake for for Sunday. We have also to find our moments, especially uh, maybe in in transition moments or some some moments when we have the ball to create our our chances. Next, we got a question on Zoom. Hi, good afternoon, Coach. Uh, thank you for your time. One of the questions that I wanted to ask you is: Columbus more likely are going to play Diego Rossi now. Uh, how does that change the Rebels' approach in managing this game? And also, if uh, if I may ask about uh, the injury report from from players, I know that you had some questionable. Um, sorry, Ronald Donker was questionable last time. He played a few minutes. Noah Isla, any players that might need to be careful for this match? Yeah, Rossi. Uh, when I when I can answer your first question, Rossi is a very good player, and uh, yeah, but I think. Nothing changed uh, from from their idea how they want to play. To be honest, because they have a lot of players uh, with this similar type, but uh, for sure he's a special as a key player for for Columbus. But it's necessary then also to be very strong in our defense all together, and not only uh, one person against him all together. And uh, yeah, we will see. So we had uh, today our training session and uh, tomorrow our, our last training session on, on Sunday, a short activation in the morning. We will see now then uh, how is the roster. But uh, I think uh, Ronnie will be will be fit for, for Sunday and also uh, Noah Eile, yeah. Next, we go to Gary on Zoom. Good afternoon, Coach. Um, 
Columbus was going to be expected to come out, you know, guns blazing and try to equalize the series. <laughs> come on, guys. Say. We are talking every time about Columbus, what they are doing. For sure. For sure. They, they want also to win on, <laughs> on Sunday. It's clear. So, but now it's, it's, it's zero, zero. It's, a, it's the second game now. So, and they lost the first game. So we won the, the first game. And now it's the situation is clear. So uh, it's, it's zero, zero. It starts on Sunday. And uh, I'm sure when it's kickoff, On, on Sunday, so uh, we know how, hopefully we know then how we want to defend, hopefully we know also then how we want to, to, to be active with the ball and uh, from the other side as well, so because uh, they have also a, a match plan, but we can talk about so what happened now from, from, from the mental side with Columbus, what happened now from the mental side, uh, from, from our side. At the end, it starts on, Saturday, uh, on Sunday, 4:30, so and then 0-0, and we will see what happens if we if we are able also to play a very very good game. Then we have the chance to win. If we don't do that, then Columbus can also punish us with their quality. Sorry for interrupt your question. <laughs> Actually, you answered it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we go to Voss on Zoom. How's it going, Coach? Thank you again for the time. Best of luck this Saturday. And like you mentioned, I don't Sunday. want to talk too much about Columbus, but I want to talk about your side. And one of the questions that I had for you was, how do you maintain this group's commitment to staying so compact? And you really showed uh, the last game how everybody was playing for each other, even off and on the ball runs. The way that they pressed was very Red Bulls, indicator of the Red Bulls ethos. But... How do you keep that focus and that sharpness going into the second game with a short turnaround? And as a second parter, uh, what's just a message to the fans to try to just get everybody out there to support your boys on Sunday? Yeah, um, I would, to be honest, I would answer the, the second question at first because this is the most important thing for Sunday. And uh, because we need everyone, every every supporter, everyone uh, in our stadium to create the atmosphere which we need in the playoff game. And this is our first playoff game at home all together uh, from my side as well and uh, so this is uh, and and, and, uh, and i hope and i'm sure i'm sure that we can also all together to create these moments but at the end we are responsible on the field so we can have the best support we can have everything on the side uh, of the field the best at the end we decide uh, with our behavior with uh, our energy with our um, intensity so how we can then also be combine all these elements in the stadium and um, the first question yeah it's always the same you have to be compact so it's nothing special and uh, when we are talking about Red Bull style to be honest um, when we are going in detail in this game um, then I'm not sure that is clear Red Bull style to be honest how we how we defend the last game so um, but we can talk in two weeks maybe about this, about the style of Red Bull and about the behavior from the last game. But what I said is, so it, it's not now that we can think about, okay, we have to play the same because I'm sure they will also adjust some, some position moments for them. Um, and then that needs for us also, okay, not to, to think about the easy solution. Okay, we have to play the same because it was uh, good in, 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 in uh, Columbus. No, we have also to think about um, and I'm sure they will change something in in their ball position, in their positions. This maybe the center backs and also the tenth position, the sixth position, and uh, we have to think about what we can, what we can do against uh, these moments. But at the end, also um, to create uh, with the ball our moments, uh, but not. Don't misunderstand. It's not now our solution to have more ball position like Columbus. Um, so, but uh, to create our moments with the ball when we have the chance and to find the right moment, to find the space in transition, in some build-up moments. This is now the plan, the solutions. We will see how it uh, goes then on, uh, on Sunday. And we have two days time. Our opponent, they have two days time now. So, and then we meet again on, uh, on Sunday and then we will see. Everyone, we have time for two more questions. Coach, first with Anthony. Oh. Lewis Morgan um, had a few very high percentage chances in, in the last game. Um, he's continuing to get himself into very good spots. 
How do you keep him from from staying in the mindset where you know just kind of telling him, hey, it, it's going to come at some nah, point? Don't talk too much about the mischance. To be honest about this game, this is this is uh, that's uh, that's uh, for me from my side the most important thing. But I know uh, everyone is talking about or some guys they are talking about that. It is, I agree, it's okay uh, because it was a big chance, but so was a uh, what was not the, the best decision in this moment, but what. Uh, his performance for the whole team in defense and also in offense, and it starts at the beginning also with deep runs. That is very important, and uh, I'm sure he will also give everything on, uh, on on Sunday. We had in the morning before the training session a very good conversation, short conversation on the field. So it's also so he was angry. We were all angry because uh, two zero is it's much easier than to play in Columbus, but can happen. Could be also happen that we miss some chances on Sunday, but so hopefully then uh, we have the same energy, the same level, the same intensity, and then it's good. It's good to, to have this competition against a very good team. So we will see on, uh, on Sunday.